big issues. Absolutely. And even around downtown Dallas, they picked up anywhere from five to eight inches already, and they have more rain to get through today. Uh, but for areas mainly south and east of I-95, uh, you can see over the past 24 hours across southern portions of Caroline County uh, dealt with rainfall totals a little bit over four and a half inches. About three and a half inches of rain was recorded closer to Edgewood, closer to four and a half across northwestern parts of Cecil and northeastern parts of uh, Harford County and just to the north of Bowie and to the south and west of Severn, about a half inch of rainfall uh, has accumulated in those locations. Looking at radar right now, still showing a lot of those showers and even some storms blossoming up. I wouldn't be surprised if you heard some rumbles of thunder on your way into work this morning. You can see it's also invading the south end of Baltimore City, extending down towards Elkridge and even by Dundalk, Riviera Beach, seeing some of this moderate rain, but it's looking a lot heavier down towards Pasadena, just to the south of Southgate and closer to Severna Park. And we're also dealing with some a very small sized hail. So hail right around Southgate is about the size of a peanut or a mothball, about a half inch in diameter. Uh, but the hail core is starting to uh, small. It's starting to uh, uh, really decrease. So that just shows you that that cell is weakening right now. Futurecast shows right around uh, 1 to 2 o'clock this afternoon, north and west of I-95. We could see some isolated storms still lingering, but elsewhere, locations look to stay mainly dry. We could be dealing with a few breaks in the cloud deck, allowing that sunshine to peek through, helping those storms fire up later on today. And I'm tracking another round of scattered showers and storms, some of which could become on the stronger to severe side as that line continues to track in from west to east. So this is going to continue through sunset this evening, especially along the end of the eastern shore. The lower end of the eastern shore could be dealing with some heavier rainfall through 9 to 10 o'clock this evening, but drying out for the Baltimore Metro during that time. The biggest threats we can expect will be strong damaging wind gusts and even the potential for some localized flash flooding, especially because we dealt with so much rainfall over the past 24 hours in a few isolated spots. So we could see some flooding around low lying and urban areas. So be mindful of that, especially if you're going to hit the roads today. You don't want to drive in flooded roadways. Right now, temperatures are in the low to mid 70s. Easton sitting at 70 degrees, parked in in the Hereford zone at 73 this morning. And Westminster, good morning to all of you sitting at 73. We're expected to climb near average today to the mid 80s. And we have that round of scattered showers and storms likely sparking up right around 3 to 4 o'clock this afternoon. It's going to feel warm and muggy out there thanks to dew points in the 70s. So that, I like to call it the air that you can wear. So the hair is going to be frizzing a little bit today, unfortunately, ladies. Uh, there is a slight chance of an isolated shower or two for tomorrow afternoon, but most locations stay rain free. We start to warm things back up, flirting with the 90s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and keeping that chance for some isolated showers and storms on tap for the upcoming weekend. Back to you. All right, Stevie, thank you.